wonderful. Oh, hold on. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, would you say that again? G give me just a second. Hello, hello? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, don't leave. I, like, you're really important to me. I'm Yvonne with YvonneVSanchez.com. It is my joy and my assignment in life to help professional women connect with their Christ-given identity so they can navigate demands and priorities and fulfill the purpose for their lives. If content about this topic is interesting to you, please give me a thumbs up on this video and then subscribe so you can receive the newest content as soon as it's available. Do you know someone who is never really present because they can't let a phone call go to voicemail or they respond to every single notification bell on their phone? Today we are talking about FOMO, fear of missing out. Cindy and I have been friends for about 20 years and I love being with her because she is always fully engaged. Her questions range from recipes to family relationships to questions of deep prolific thinking. When I am with her, I want to be as present with her as she is with me. And it requires more work on my part. Some classic signs that you might struggle with FOMO are one, you pick up the phone every time it rings, no matter where you are or who you're with. You spend an inordinate amount of time checking people's responses to you on social media. Maybe you say yes to too many things. You don't know how to set healthy boundaries. We all want to be affirmed by people whose opinions are important to us. I might get on social media and post an accomplishment or maybe just post a picture of a new purse. There's nothing wrong with any of that. But if I am checking on people's responses to me, and that interferes with my work or my relationships, then I know I'm out of kilter. Social media allows us to be connected to many more people than we are able to be in contact with in real relationships, real time. I love being connected to my childhood friends. We celebrate one another's accomplishments, birthdays, and family accomplishments. Just like yourself, I have real relationships with my husband, children, grandchildren, close friends, and relatives. What does it say about me if when I am with them, I am more interested in my childhood friend's opinion of my last social media post? Proverbs 20 and 6 says, many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is truly reliable? Recently, I had to admit to myself that there were some areas of my life where I wasn't really being reliable. I took my bad practices to the Lord and I repented for caring more about the opinions of the masses than the opinions of those that I'm in actual relationship with. Once I repented, I also forgave myself. That's really important. My heart was changed after repenting. And once that happened, I knew I needed to put some new practices in place to change my behaviors. I wanna share with you a couple of things that I'm doing differently, and maybe they'll help you as well. When I'm spending time with someone, my phone will remain in my purse or in another part of the house. I've also decided that when I'm talking on the phone, I won't be scrolling through social media. I don't know if you've ever done that. When I sit down and spend time with my husband in the evening, 
my phone will not be in our proximity. Proverbs 13, 20 talks about wisdom. Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. I am glad I have my friend Cindy, who is a great role model for me in being a reliable friend. If you don't have someone like that in your life, then I challenge you, become that for someone else so you can lead someone else to wisdom. Healthy soul, joyful life. If there is something in this messaging that resonates with you, but you say to yourself, I don't think I can navigate that on my own. I want to invite you to reach out to me through the contact form at YvonneVSanchez.com. Let's have a conversation. I want to hear your story. Maybe there's something in my wheelhouse that I can help you with so you can have the joyful life that is rightfully yours.